Alrighty then. That, that's your cue to start. Uh, something, something, anime. What? Hold on, say something louder. I'm a something, something, anime. Okay, Hello. yeah, I, th I thought it wasn't, thought it wasn't working. Alright, I know it's working. Aren't you glad it's working? Yeah. Glad Yay. it's working. Good, alright. <laughs> I find I'm so tired. We're all tired deep down inside. Tired of a lot of things. We're not tired of anime, because this is the anime news podcast. <laughs> that flawless transition, though. Absolutely flawless. I nailed it. I nailed it! Yeah! <laughs> alright. It's <laughs> anime. Yes, an <coughs> anime. Uh, as always, we have three questions. A discussion and our anime battle, which is Joseph Joestar from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure versus Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Two really? people from the early 1900s who have weird powers. I, honestly, I saw it as a one minute melee, and like I was thinking about because I watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood recently, and I was like, how can I incorporate, incorporate Elric uh, Edward into this? Then I was like, wait a minute. I remember that battle I saw a long time ago. Fuck it. <laughs> no one will care. We can do it. But I think that's cool. Anyway, I guess we'll go to question number one, which is, what is the most bullshit anime death? Uh, Please tell me you did research. Mm, 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 and by, by that, I, I mean, like, um, you, you can like, interpret this in many okay. ways. What anime, oh, yeah. death you, what, like, anim, what anime death are you like, no, idea. that's not how that would happen. Or be like, no, that was, it didn't need to happen, that was bullshit. Something like that. I, I, either what? one works. It, it could either be like, ridiculous, nonsensical death, or like one that you that shouldn't have happened. And you're like, what the fuck? It's bullshit. Okay, well, mine is uh, the... the um, Obviously, spoilers. And of course, spoilers, but... Yes. Like the one that happened in Fairy Tale, well, all the dragons just died because like one of them, okay, like it's like, like a sad person, like one, like I'm like I'm like died fighting or whatever, but the other is fighting yeah. and and it's like I like died because they wasted their energy. And it's like they skywalker back it. from the dead, and somehow they wasted their energy. Making sure that the that the dragon slayers don't turn into them, but it's just like, can they have just like uh, took half of their power and used that? Obviously, half wasn't enough. Uh, 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 like, Obviously, I you know, think to turn into a dragon, so that way I'm like, uh, like um, I want I want they can stay with them, and it seems like they so we can be a happy energy. family. I mean. I respect your opinion, but I'm going to disagree with it for uh, just a minute. Fairy tale doesn't have enough sacrifice, and I feel like that was a good sacrifice. So that's really? what I'll go with. I'm just do my death. I know, but like, how many characters die in fairy tale? Like, two? Yeah, you do have a good point, Dale. So, you know, like, as much as I think fairy tale is on par with One Piece, that is something One Piece does a little better, character deaths. Because let's face it, like, uh, Eighth's yeah. death, that one hit a lot of people. But, like, Fairy Tale doesn't really have that. That makes sense. <laughs> like, the most I can think of is Simon. And we knew him for, like, ten episodes. And it yeah. is mostly tragic because of Urza's reaction. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, I guess I can see that, because a lot of people were really angry, like the Luke Skywalker death that happened in Last Jedi. Spoilers for that. <laughs> but, um, if you didn't know, he, um, you know, did, like, a force projection, which fooled, uh, the, uh, what are they called? The New Empire. I forgot what they're called. Um, I forgot. The Last know. Order. The Last Order. I think it was. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, he fooled them. Uh, and gave the the rebels enough time to escape, and then he used so much energy that he just ended yeah, up dying. Like AI mind trick. He became one with the force. They did. Although he is scheduled to appear in episode nine, so you know, 
in Star Wars, death is an inconvenience. <laughs> yeah. Something. Well, I mean, Star Wars is, is, is a death an inconvenience for Jedi, I should say. Because if you're normal, you're like, shit. I don't know, maybe maybe Han will appear as a Force ghost, who knows. Um, but for me, again, spoilers, I'm going to say Shirley Fennett from Code Geass. Because unlike Fairy Tale, Code Geass has a lot of amount of sacrifice. And Shirley does sacrifice a lot, like her fucking father dies... And, like, the person that she loves, uh, it turns out to be, like, a possible yeah. terrorist. And then she has to lose all her memories. Yeah, and was... then she regains all her memories. And anyone who watches enough anime might have gone, like, shit, no, don't do this to Shirley. You can't do this to Shirley. <laughs> you can't do this, Code Geass. But the very next episode, she gets shot. Um, uh, because she was trying to, like, uh... The fake brother that um, Lelouch had, can't remember his name, but like he was kind of like, kind of a little crazy. Like he has a habit of killing people, <laughs> um, and he got overprotective because Shirley was like, "I want to help," and then because uh, she was holding a gun because she found it because uh, Lelouch was being attacked, so she was like, "I want to help. Let me help." And then it skips back to Lelouch, and he comes back and he finds her with a gunshot in her in her uh, stomach because. His fake brother has a Gios power, which allows him to change someone's perception of time. So he made her think time stopped, grabbed the gun, and shot her. And uh, she ended up bleeding to death, even though Lelouch... Because Lelouch's Gios power is he allows anyone to do anything he says. And he was constantly telling her, survive, survive, don't die. And it was like one of the most emotional moments that Lelouch had. And... It was really powerful, but come on, <laughs> come on, like, I don't know, I just feel like if you're going to kill Shirley off, a, there would have been a better point, because it just made one of the other characters excessively unlikable, because up to yeah. that point, up to that point, he wasn't that bad of a guy, like, you were like, yeah. he wants to work with his brother, he's protecting his brother, even though they're not actually family, and then he shoots Shirley, and you're like, I want to see him die. I just want to see him die. He needs to die. That's all I was thinking. So when he finally died, I was like, you know, it was it was a tragic ending for him. I'm glad he's dead. So it ruins it ruined another character. It stopped another character's development when she was getting more interesting. It was really bad timing. Really bad timing. And I mean Code Geass has a bunch of bullshit deaths. What kind of bullshit? Um Usually they're executed rather well. This one I feel like was executed well, but done at the wrong time. So, like, maybe during a battle. Um, now granted, something similar happens later, kind of. Um, have, I, have either of you seen Code Geass? Uh, sadly, I have not. Alright, then I won't spoil it. Um, I have. But okay. So, you, I think so you know what I'm talking like, about, right? Um, hang on. Like, um, I've only seen like, uh, like season one. And okay. In most of two. I did you finish season yet, two? But... How far did you get into season two? Um, I think. Did you get to the part where well, Nanali got attacked? Is, um... Wait, what? Did you get to the part where Nanali got attacked? Uh, I think I did. Did you get to the um, so you got to the part where she was in the explosion, right? Uh, yeah. Did you, how far, how much farther did you get? I think I'm just, I know, like, a few, um... Alright, then I won't say anything. Because like, um, I, I don't know, I don't know if you saw it or not. Left. Like, I don't know if you saw it or not. So. Leo two, but... Alright, well, alright. Alright. Okay, we Gucci. You can come back now. All right. So your turn. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Now I have to go. Ha ha! Now the brilliant Nick must relay on us his unfathomable wisdom. Uh, no, I had one. You had one. 
Where'd it go? What? Where'd it go? You said you had one. Where'd it go? I don't know. Eh. Find eh. it. We'll find it. <laughs> we'll wait. People, get, people here can wait. Right, audience? No, you I can gonna, wait. I was gonna think of, I was gonna think of one of a, uh, of a comic got kill. That's fair. I mean, I was at first. I was thinking, uh, Bulat. To be fair, I haven't watched the whole thing, so please do not yell at me, people. But I can think I of another one that's more bullshit than that. But yeah, since, you haven't, since you haven't finished it, I won't say who it is. I haven't finished it. I just got spoiled to it, so huh. I haven't watched it. I don't. I don't like watching anime that just like kill off characters willy nilly, so bloodily. Bleh. You know. I mean, I'll, I kind of stick by with Bullet just for the fact that uh, during like his final fight and stuff. Uh, <laughs> Before he was, before he tapped out, he was still like st standing up, and he was still like, like, all right, he can pull through this. He's not showing signs that he's about to kill over at any second. He's just kind of sitting down. So it's kind of like Kamina, to where he, when he yeah. when he got back up, and then you know, you're like, oh, Kamina's alive, and then you know, yeah, it's just... yeah. I mean, like you you see it, and you're like, you know, he can. He can make it. He can, make it. He can do it. He can do it. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, there's no signs of this one dead motherfucker. <laughs> this and one damn motherfucker. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he's just like, and you're just like, bullshit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, just, who will give us the, the sexy pompadour now? Space dandy. God damn it, you're right. <laughs> no, uh, Big Dandy. <laughs> oh, God, I no. If, any, if, if, if anyone doesn't know the reference, there's an episode of Anime Nerds Podcast where we did Space Dandy versus Desert Punk. And one one thing Nick brought up was there's like many different versions of Space Dandy. Is that allowed? And he started going through all the versions, and one that made him die laughing was Big Dandy. <laughs> Oh god! No. And it's yeah, an, it's, it's a, a fucking Attack on Titan reference. He had a giant microphone and everything, and I said I wanted him to win. I didn't <laughs> care about everyone else. Yeah, but yeah, all right. Um, but you're you're going with Buat? Yeah. All right, that's fair. That sounds pretty bullshit. Like, oh hey guys, I'm fine. Funk. What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I didn't choose Kamina or Kitan because I felt like those were executed well and were done at good. Well, Kamina's, I feel like, was necessary. Kitan, not as much, but I've come to accept it, I guess. Yeah, I was originally going to. I think the first one that came to mind was like uh, Barry the Chopper from Fullmetal Alchemist. But the more I think about it, the more I, didn't really I realize add how, much. Po how, po how poetic it was. Yeah, getting killed by himself. And that was seen in. in, in the a full metal um full just metal. just know that like a really uh, a really weird side character uh was like you know how alphonse is in a suit of armor because uh, his soul was transferred another character well, there's a bunch of characters that had that too and one character um found found his original body because it wasn't destroyed um and it was like a it, it was like mindless and such and it basically it, the body died and then killed the the soul Oh, wow. Kind of ate the armor and shit. Yeah. He, had this, he had strange fascination with wanting to cut up his own body, too. He's like, if anyone's got to kill it, it's me! Which is kind of weird. But we're going to go with... Your body! Why yeah. you... uh, we're we're, we're going to go into question number two, which is, what anime that isn't dubbed already do you think should be? I had the best answer until like recently. Konosuba. I was like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been that would have been mine yeah, too. I, can think it up. <laughs> I need to remember the anime. But there's an anime um that's kinda like about paintball. And oh fuck. Sabagebu. Or Saga Sa 
lists. Let me see. My anime list. Um, Sabagebu? Sub or is it Saga? The Sabagebu. That was it. Um, basically, it's about all about like um, like fake shootings and shit like that. Like like they like paintball, but it's like real realistic, and it's like they're almost kind of killing each other. And it's and, and anyone seen that clip of like the there's like a festival, and there's a little girl who's like uh at like the shooting gallery, and she shoots one of the 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 teddy bears in the fall over, and she's like. Oh. And it's like, well, sorry, you're not getting that one. And, and this, like, hot girl comes up, and she's like, how dare you, so, like, soil this girl out of her money, and then pays for it, and then shoots one of the, the joints of the the shelf, keeping it up, the entire shelf falls over. And she and she's like, well, anything that falls over is mine, right? And the guy's like, oh, and the little girl's like, thank you so much, you got me that bear. And she's like, huh, and walks away with everything. <laughs> <laughs> she just takes it all. <laughs> Uh, and there's also one about, um, there's like this, uh, hot mom who's like shooting a bunch of dudes. It looks like she's actually shooting them in the head and killing them, but it's not. She's like, oh, aren't you cute? Boom! <laughs> uh, but I've heard really funny things about that one, and I wanted to see it. I heard it was going to be dubbed by, um, Sentai Filmworks. Because it's on their website. They are the ones who license it. But, unfortunately, it is not. And it looks like it is one of those... Look, looking at the episode list, it looks like it's one of those kind of like episodic ones where like there's multiple episode, multiple arcs in one episode. Maybe. I have no idea. Yeah. Also, it, the there's there's someone who's actually eighteen. So. <laughs> Wait. I swear to God, there's so many, so many waifu, so many, so many like hot anime chicks that are like you know like sixteen and silly that. I was thinking for a long time, I was like, Keijo oh, has, yeah. like, like Keijo know. is, like, one of the only fan service anime I can think of that has, like, characters that are consistently legal in America. Because, uh, really? like, the main character of Keijo is 18. Other ones are in their 20s. I think the youngest is, like, 17. Oh. Yeah. So when I you look at them, that. you know, bouncing, you're like, okay, this isn't, this isn't as creepy anymore. This is, this is legal to me. <laughs> yeah. But that's going to be my pick, because I don't think it's dubbed yet. Let me check, actually. Uh, let me go ahead and see. It is not. So, yeah, that's my pick. Paintball anime. Paintball anime, okay. Right. Understand. Yeah. Yeah! Your turn. Although it's 2014, so I don't know if it'll ever get dubbed at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, it took Konosuba like fucking three years, so anything's possible. Maybe. Possibly. A man can dream. A boy can dream. A dream. A dream on! A dream on! Anyway. Answer me. I think me. of one. But I can only think of recent ones that came out this year. And those will probably be dubbed anyway. Yeah, like that's it, um, the, the Hero of the Sword one. Rise of the Sh Rising of Shield Hero, that one is being dubbed. Oh, it is? Yep, it will appear in both Crunchyroll and Funimation. Dang it. Then I can't pick it then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the thing about anime these days. It's like almost everything is dubbed. So it's like crazy. But back in 2014, 2013, 2012, 2015, it wasn't always the case. Actually, I just got one. I think um, the uh, Fist of the North Star. That one's dubbed. It is? Yep. There's a dub for it. There's a dub for it. Yep. 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 Uh, let me pull up Fist of the North Star. Huh. I don't know that. Huh. Um... <laughs> I could have sworn it's still. Let me check. Yep. In English, um, Kenshiro is voiced by Lex Lang, the voice of Cortex from Crash Bandicoot. Huh. Yeah. Not even kidding. Yeah. He is voiced by Lex Lang. <laughs> I think that's awesome. 
So because I knew he had an English all has has this latent power that he just hasn't released yet. Yep, that's totally the re it's t that's definitely. I need I need fan art of that right now. Just like this ripped mullet wearing cortex. I don't know. <laughs> did, did they? Yes. <laughs> Oh my and god. I just want a gif of that. Just like <laughs> the standard gif of, of the fist of the star. <laughs> Except it's Cortex, his face over it. That sounds beautiful. People, people who don't know the voice actor be like, what the fuck? But if you look it up, you're like, oh, that's why. But yeah. And it's perfect. Yep. It, it does have a dub, Black Slang. And um, I know the OVAs are dubbed too, because those came out a lot later. Um, there's a lot of older anime, you could say. Like, a lot of older anime. Um, I remember that I was looking at one with two female protagonists who were, like, kind of like space cops, and I, it wasn't dubbed, and I was like, dang. I forgot what it's called, though. How about you just look up anime that hasn't been dubbed yet? Which you should have done, since this has been delayed for a fucking week. Yes. Yes, this is supposed to be last week. As far as do we, so it's like, I have stuff to do. Like, do uh, of course. So we'll just and say that, I... we'll just go ahead and say that uh, Matt's answer is the generous one, and say that every anime that hasn't been dubbed should be dubbed, and he's going to give us all because, I don't know, he's nice. <laughs> he's going to yeah. dub them all himself. Oh. He's going to yeah. single-handedly dub them all. Yep. <laughs> I went to a house. With an hour of gun anime on his side, he would have <laughs> And he's gone. There he is. Welcome, Welcome back. back. <laughs> Jinx. Alright, Nick, your answer. Since Matt, uh, Matt doesn't have one. Alright. For the life of me, couldn't actually find one. I was like, oh, there's, there's a couple I can look into. And then when I looked into them, they all had dubs. I was like, well, shit. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thankful that. I guess I shouldn't be thankful because I wish it was dubbed. But there was one that I've wanted to see for a while, and I was like, "Oh no, it's not dubbed! Great, fantastic, cool, love it." Yeah. But did you find anything, or is that just an opener? No, nah, it was just that I just couldn't find anything. I was like, I was trying to think. Because there's a couple that came to mind. There was Konosuba, right. until recently wasn't dubbed. I think episode like, I think oh, episode yeah. three is dubbed now, and I've heard it's really funny. Um, I remember back when I used to play this like, MMO on Steam called Soul Worker. My friend was like, "Well, there's no dub for it." And I was like, "Yeah, that actually sounds pretty." And the game itself sound, looks and sounds pretty cool. And I, and I was looking it up now, and just like, now oh, it's dubbed. A dub. And I was like. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's a dub before it. I don't know if it's like a proper... If it's like the official dub or whatever. But yeah, it's dubbed. And then I was like, all right, I'm thinking of something recent. Think of something recent. I was like, quintessential quintuplets. Look it up. First episode. Yep, it's like, dubbed. On YouTube. Like, like, shit. I've heard that anime is pretty good, too. But, all right. Well, moral of the story is, I'm the unlucky one. Yeah. Cause fuck me. And now we can gauge an awkward silence and go to question three. Yeah. So this one was brought on by the fact that I remember that um, there was a manga where someone got reincarnated as That's Yamcha. Slime. No, it's Yamcha. <laughs> remember? But yeah, you can also get uh, that. That anime is very good, by the way. Uh, I got, that time I got reincarnated as slime, it is very good. Um, but the question number three is what anime character would you want to be reincarnated as? Uh, well, if, well, like mine is in my, uh, my, uh, my username, a shadow. Excuse me? From? Uh, like an actual shadow. That's not an anime character. What? That's not an anime character. What anime character would you want to be reincarnated as? Kyoto. <laughs> oh, I thought you said my girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. Okay, 
Because, uh, dynamic. Well, I guess as that um, uh, Weemaloo, then. If you want to be reincarnated as someone who got reincarnated. Yes. Dude, reincarnation reception. <laughs> oh my god. Reincarnation. I mean, to be fair, Rimuru's life is pretty good. If you guys haven't seen it, um, one of the things is, like, you know, he basically recruits so many people to his side. And he recruits a bunch of Onis, uh, who they get, they get, they evolve once they get names into Kijin, is what they're called. And one uh, is a really strong woman who becomes his secretary, and she always walks around in a suit carrying him. And I'm like, you know what? I bet that slime is really happy someone stabbed him. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was one of those moments where I was like, you know, I never thought I would need a monster girl wearing a suit who's really powerful, but I needed this. Thank you, anime. You gave this to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I guess it's a fair pick. I haven't, I've only seen episode, I think, 13 or 14, because that's the only ones that have been dubbed. Oh, wait, no. It was, it was one that came out on Monday. And by the time this by the time this podcast comes out, one will come out tomorrow. Um, I also think that Slime is free on Funimation. I'm not sure. No, it was uh, Gridman that's free on Funimation. S S S S Gridman is free on Funimation. You don't need a premium account. Right, Same with Trigun. Because there's a bunch of anime that you don't need a premium account in order to watch them, which I think is nice. Um, but as for me, I am going, fuck, who was it? <laughs> I had a name. I forgot the name. You go, you go, Nick. I'll, re I'll remember it. Because I've, I've been thinking about a bunch of them. I was like, what about this one? Then I forgot about my original pick. Uh, cause uh, okay, you go. Go, 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 go. All the pressure. <laughs> go, bitch. Uh, you see, I was thinking of a character, but I don't even think his name was even mentioned in the anime. If not, I'm sorry for being retarded. But, uh, what anime? Uh, My Hero Academia. And it's one no one's going to pick, because... Oh, Gir uh, wait, hang on. Let's see if I got it right. Oh, yeah, Garen. Who? This exactly. Basically. Um, he, he basically sells, like, black market, uh, like, equipment to the villains. I think he was in, like, season one. <gasps> oh, no, yeah, I know him. Okay, I know him. He's the one with the, who's the one that smokes. Yeah. And you might be like, why would you pick him? Well, let me put it to you this way. It probably sucks being a hero or a villain, and being a pedestrian, you got to deal with it. You got to deal with them fighting constantly. Whereas Garen, all he has to do is sit behind phones and computers, be like, "Okay, I just need this," and you'd be like, "All right, here's some money." Go to the villains, and be like, "All right, here's your stuff." So the villains don't fuck with you, and when they get busted, your ass is free because you're just doing business. I. Uh, mm, mm, uh, well, no, well huh. I'm not free, but, like, but, I mean, no one, no, no one's gonna bust into villains and be like, who's, like, where's your supplier and stuff like that. They're just gonna be like, all right, you're arrested. We've done our job. Meanwhile, I'm just like, yeah, no one touching me. All right, well, I gotta find the name because I remembered what it's from. It's a, a small anime um, called I Can't Understand What My Husband Is Saying. Uh, it's very adorable and very funny. Um, but I'm going to be uh, reincarnated as Hajime, who is the husband of Karu? Koru? Something like that. But basically, the anime is about like this... Like They're both, they're both strange, but she's kind of like more normal. And she's married to a huge otaku who's like really weird. And you, you ever you ever seen you ever seen that um anime like just still of that guy in a horse guy in a horse mask going magnificent? Yeah, 
Yeah, that that's Hajime. Oh, that's Hajime. Oh. <laughs> um, but his wife is really fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And she's 25. So, um, granted, their life is kind of weird, but it wouldn't be bad to have that kind of life because it's always interesting. And I, because like I thought, because I, I, I thought it was like this this question because like originally people were like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be reincarnated as this badass. Then I'll, then you'd be like, well, then you could die. You know, like I want to be reincarnated as a hero. It's like all right, well, let's go fight the villain then. Go have fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> go fight the villain. And or like, like or, like, or someone's serious like, I want to be, I want to be in a harem, and it's like probably not as cool as you think it would be. Uh, yeah. And then a lot of them are crazy bitches. So I was like, why don't I get reincarnated as someone who's married to one person? You know, simple. Just and I, and I remember that anime, and I was like, perfect. So yes, it is also very cute. You should check it out. It that is also not dubbed, but I watched it in Japanese, and it was. Very funny and very cute. So, I'm going to say that. If anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, go look up the anime. It's really funny. It's really short. Each episode's like five minutes. <laughs> There's two seasons. So, all together, it'll take maybe an hour and a half of your time. But, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, player. That's what I'm saying, player. We're going to go on with a discussion. When we talk about magical girls, most gangs think girls. of all time. Most gangs think of all time. It's gangsta. Because there was an anime that came out recently called um, uh, Magical Girl Spec Ops Asuka, which is kind of like Madoka Magica, where it's like kind of really dark. Like the, like the, the premise I is. Like Black Ops. Well, I mean, there's a lot of guns in it. Like the basically the magic girls are fighting modern street crime. So that's Call of Duty. <laughs> well, I mean, it has some like flashbacks and such, and it shows like these creatures that, yeah. that attack the world and the magic girls fought. They were like these little teddy bears, and there's this one where this like giant little teddy bear is like fucking playing um, basketball with a woman's head. Wait, what? Yeah. And there's like a bunch of corpses around them, and like there's like a, a child and an uh, injured mother who about to be like attacked by this thing that like opens its mouth and like like horrible like jaws pop out like, Aah! and you're like, what the fuck? What? The they start out as a, a door. But yeah, I'm, I'm, it's it's what made me think about this because we never talk about magical girls. What do you guys think of magical girls? They're kind of like I Japanese know. superheroes. Oh, wait, magical girl. I mean, uh, I'm. I have mixed opinions on magical girls. What do you mean? Uh, they're just like, this is really saccharine, and what the fuck is this? Like, and for those of you who don't know, saccharine is like excessively sweet. Which is why there's a bunch like, of them that are dark. Yeah, and then part of me is just like, in in a meme way. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like anything could happen with a magic. Is is like Saint Sire kind of like really a magical cool. girl anime? Not really. Hmm. Because I've never really seen too many magical girl anime. I started watching a magical girl spec ops, which is not bad so far. Um, seen a little bit of Madoka Magica, and then. I swear there was another one, but I forgot what it was. There was also one about, um, uh, the the magical girls who were fighting each other. Remember? Like it was like a battle royale or whatever. Magical Girl Rising Project, I think it was. That was it, yeah. And like they're basically just killing each other, and it was like, what the fuck? And the one I liked lost. So I was like, damn it, Ninja won. No. Fuck. Like, well, I don't, I don't need to watch this anymore. My favorite one died. No, I like, basically, it, it was kind of like um, how I felt about, uh, what's that other one with the, the Zodiac signs? Because there's another uh... one like that. 
So he just says Zodiac come on my went instantly to like Saint Seiya. I was like, wait, no, I don't think that's magic girl. No. But it's always kinda they're always really underage and it's like, what the fuck? Oh, there's the one magical girl Ore, where these adorable girls are turning into this fucking J- buff JoJo again motherfuckers. <laughs> Ever seen it? Ever seen any clips uh, of it? But basically, there's like this adorable girl, and her magical girl transformation is she turns into this giant buff dude, still wearing a dress. I think I've seen parodies of this. I think what? I've seen parodies. I think I've seen like just, legends. Just, just, just look up magical girl Ore. O R E. And just look up pictures. And be amazed. I'm waiting for the reactions. I'm gonna post like pictures. Damn, that is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have seen clips of this. Yeah, yeah. But that was supposed to be a parody too. Um go. Magical Boy. Girl Ore. O R E. I've also seen a parody. <laughs> <laughs> I've also seen a parody on League of Legends as well. Oh my god. Why is he so buff? Why because he... anime. <laughs> Heaven helps the guys they marry. <laughs> uh, I just thought it was fucking hilarious the first time I said it. I was like, what the fuck? It was, yeah, that was see. my reaction. Yeah. I think that was mine too. Why? Um. Yeah, yeah, they still wearing dresses. Because they didn't change. They didn't change. Why would you change? Dude! Listen, they built something that's not dressed. Hey, 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 hey. Think about this. You have a villain who's always attacking. If you show up as a dude in a dress and beat the shit out of them, do you think they're going to come back? Oh, he's got a point. <laughs> yeah. God, God, dang it. They're probably going to leave and be like, oh, no, I'm, I'm done with this shit. Fuck this. <laughs> I just got my ass kicked by a fucking tra- cross-dresser. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> so it's probably one of wars. Um, but I don't know. It's like I've never seen that one. Oh no, please don't. No. What? I. Hey, why did you join? Why are you here? Welcome, mysterious fourth member. I think he's here. What? Okay, cool, whatever. But anyway, back to Magical Girls. <laughs> um. Is there any bit of Magical Girl anime that you guys have seen? Aside from. I don't know. Not a single one. Rip. What about you? Yes, Rip. What about you, Matt? Oh, uh, what? Um, I have seen one. Ooh, I what'd think... you see? That Madoka Magica one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the one with contracts. Yeah, the one that was really dark. Yeah. And had and some like, had a girl getting her head chopped off. Or like, chomped like, off, I should say. Oh, okay. whatever. Thing. That's on it. The OED Indeed. I swear to God, Mouse, I... Alright, well, how do I remove you from the call? I don't know how. I guess I'll just stay here. But I can mute him. There we go. And... Shit. That will make him stop setting stuff. Whatever. Anyway, we're going to go into anime battle. Anyone doesn't know, he's like, just posting bullshit because he always does that. But anyway, anime battle. <laughs> Joseph Joestar from Joseph's Our Adventure versus Edward Elric from Fullmetal Alchemist. The 1900s exploring fighters. Who married people? I actually didn't think about that. Both married someone at the end of the series. Because huh. Edward married Winry and Joseph Spoilers. married Susie. Spoilers, man. I swear to God. <laughs> I will end you and everything you love. 
I got I found my cat. So you're gonna end all of anime, hmm? Shit. Almost everything you love. Whatever. But uh, for me, this one's tricky. Because as much as Mouse might disagree with me with this, I think these two are on equal playing field. Because they both fought gods. Like, Edward fought, um, you know, a father who turned into a god at the end of the series in a fucking fist fight. And uh, Joseph, you know, fought like... Uh, like ancient gods. Usually not in fights, actually. Well, one was in a fight. The other one he tricked. The other one was in a competition. So. Mm, I'm saying that word. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna hate me for this. Hey. Uh, hey. You know what? Shut up. Shut up. No. I see you typing. I see you typing. You're not going to get away with this. I'm saying Edward. Because Edward fights a giant suit of armor all the time. In training. That's his training. And we're going with these two characters that are at their peak. Meaning Edward still has his alchemy. I don't think Hamon's going to do much against Edward. Um, Joseph is probably smarter. But Edward is still pretty damn smart. Um... We're not allowing outside help. It's just them. Just them. And the balls aren't going to do anything. You know, the the clackers he has that are hormone infused, those aren't going to do anything to Edward aside from being kind of annoying. Plus he has a metal arm, which can also become a spike. And You can also do that to the ground. Yeah. And sure, Joseph has like a machine gun and such, and um, a few other things. And he's also really strong, of course, and very smart. But combined with metal arm, metal leg, and alchemy? Mm, I don't know. Wait, so what are we talking about? We're talking about Edward versus Joseph Joestar, and I'm saying Edward. Oh. Because both of them have fought gods, but Edward has a metal arm, metal leg, and alchemy. And most of jo Joseph's stuff only work on, you know, like, his enemies. Like, Hamon's not going to yeah. do anything. Against Edward. He does have a stand, I don't believe that. He does have a stand um, in Stardust Crusaders, but it's not really useful for fights. It was. Uh, his stand is like, it can show the truth, I think? In pictures, I believe that was, was it? I, no, I don't care if he's friends with a Nazi. The Nazi's not joining the battle. It doesn't say Joseph Stostar and Nazi friend versus Edward Elric. It says Joseph Joestar versus Edward Elric. I seriously have no idea what the hell he's talking about. I don't he know. Lost me after, he lost me after dead brother and literal furry. I don't know what literal furry means. Oh, that it was. Oh, okay. What do you mean by literal furry? Okay. There's not a furry in... Uh, really? in Full Metal Alchemist. How does Matt know what Josh is going on about? This is so confusing. I might just screen cap what's happening. I just... I'm gonna have to censor some of this stuff, though. Um... What are you talking about? How about you fucking speak? Just because speaking Blink, makes motherfucker! Sense, make... The dog. The dog that was in one episode. Amazing. He died in the same episode. Yes. And was not a furry, but a chimera. Yes. Congratulations for being useless. But I'm saying Edward. What do you guys think? Um, Please tell me you did research. I'm, I'm assuming that's a no. <laughs> Uh, then again, um, I think uh, that I guess I'll go with what you said, um, Edward. And since like, uh, like he doesn't, stop you know what? That. From now on, I'm gonna start posting Wikipedia links to these fucking characters. It's like, um, eh, eh, like the whole truth thing wouldn't be that useful. And I mean, I don't, I don't remember exactly what it does, but it is not gonna be. Nope. Stop it. How do I delete this?
All right, well, time to drown out your bullshit mouse. There we go. All right, anyway, um, so you're going with what I said. Yes, I'm going with Edward. All righty, that's the second one for... I just realized, neither of these characters are Japanese. Wait, Wait really? Wait, no, what? neither of them are oh, Japanese. Yeah. Like, Joseph is British, I think, right? Wait, he's British? Or no, he's American. One of the two. It's one of the two. Shut up, Mouse. I know I just... Like, did they... Shut up. And then Edward is... Um, well, I mean, I forgot the country's name, but it's not Japan. Like, they're near... Like, they're, they're west of what's essentially China. Um... So it's kind of America, Britain. I was about to say, it's, it's very, it's kind of got a European feel to it. Yeah. Since, uh, since like the architecture very, is definitely, very... not to mention it's a very militarized country, which is not really Japan. So, oh, he's English. Okay. All right. So. Cool. England. Alrighty. Have some tea and crumpets, why don't you? <laughs> uh, but I'm... Right, what, do you, what do you think, Nick? Who's gonna win? I swear to God, no, stop. If you continue posting this stuff, I'm literally going to kick you from the fucking group. No, fuck it. I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. Oh, thank God. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna say Elric because that's it, a safe bet for me. Since... Jojo's a weird show, and I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm sorry, this is just... Well, let me go ahead and weird. summarize it. Um, Joseph Joestar goes on a quest to fight uh, big burly men wearing barely any clothing, and he ends up befriending a Nazi. Who also has, who also has like a lot of mechanical stuff in his body, and he uses clackers to fight. You know, marbles on strings. And his friend fight with uh, and his friends friend fights with bubbles. Ah, uh, so there you go. There's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, second season. Just whenever I see JoJo, I think, did someone slip me mushrooms? <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's just a weird, constant weird fever dream. It is anyway, weird, but it is just, good. Yeah. Anyway, I just I know a lot more of Full Metal Alchemist, and. And I just think that being able to make weapons out of the ground you're standing on is kind of a big deal. That when is it comes fair. to a fight. I mean, you could. I mean, it's kind of. I will admit, it's kind of a bullshit power. But then again, it's just kind. Of, like I said, I'm not that well versed in Joseph Joestar, but anything ranged, I'll just build a wall. Melee fight, I'll just make some armor and a weapon. And like you you can go and like you said, the suit of armor, um I'm fighting suit of armor daily. And I would say uh this the seven the seven deadly sins that he fights, but the other seven deadly sins, the other anime on Netflix. Yeah, no. Uh, these these sins are much weaker. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's still nothing to sneeze at since they can be revived multiple times. True. And well, no, he didn't kill all of them. Lust was killed by Mustang. Uh, Gluttony was yeah, killed by he, uh, Pride. Well, like, he, I'm not saying like he's he's. I think killed, he only like, killed, killed Pride. Every single one of them. Didn't he only kill Pride? But he still managed to go toe to toe with well, yeah, with with them. He also got eaten by gluttony, which was yeah. crazy. Nom, nom, Somehow nom. escaped. Nom, 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 nom. Well, he so made a, say, he made a door of tr gate of truth, which allowed him to escape. That's what happened. So. Yeah, but, well, so you yeah, can do, you can do alchemy without a yeah, transmutation circle. Uh, uh, Edward Elric just. Like his abilities, though I will agree if someone says they're bullshit, I would agree on that. But his his feats and being able to go up against what he's gone up against, 
would give him the win. That's fair. I can't remember who won like, in the one minute melee. Um, in all honesty, I think it was Edward. I'm not sure though. Well, I mean, just like taking into account the characters he's fight, he's uh, fought. Uh, you got like Envy, who just turns into this giant lizard monster, which, which is terrifying, by the way. Yeah, I think the weirdest part of that was having eyes on a tongue. It's like why? It was really awkward CG too. Like, why would they put eyes on a tongue? Well, because Envy was made of a but like part of it was made of a bunch of faces. So like his tongue had like and like his insides uh, had a bunch like, of faces uh, on them. Decent, uh, whatever. And it was just like, uh, yeah, there was like gluttony. You could just like you could just eat anything in front of him. Yep. And then there was pride who. Who could, who just kill people with their shadows? And greed and turn into steel. Yeah. And then I don't think he oh. ever fought anger or wrath. So the, no, wait, wait. No, he never fought wrath. Huh. He never. He never fought Bradley. Huh. I'll be damned. Wait, Anyway, well, we're all saying Edward, so Edward wins. Sorry, JoJo fans, but I think we did another one where jo a JoJo character won, didn't we? I don't remember. Did we? I don't know. Anyway. Um, Go watch the other episodes to find out who won. Yeah. Which and, and, and then tell us, and we'll never look at that message. <laughs> well, I will. <laughs> Um, but anyway, if you guys uh, if you guys have uh, suggestions for anime battles, for discussions, or questions, please leave them in the comments below or message me on Twitter. Um, Twitter link is available on my YouTube channel, uh, YouTube page in the top in the top right corner, and links as well as my book, which is also also available in the description below. And that's all, folks. See you next time, I guess. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.